Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 lore through. Um, so we pretty much cleared out um, Smoldering Lake last time. We just have a few more things um, to do. Um, there's some giants up here. Um, undoubtedly operating that. Uh, thing. Whatever it's called. Just want to see if there's any items here. thought there was an item at at least one of them. Not. So now we are going to we're now finally down at the area where we can um, chunks. Anyway, there's the area that we looked down upon from up there where Horus fell. And Horus Aha. Uh -huh. Must have died and became undead, or, you know, hollowed at that moment. Oh, weird. Horus the Hushed. It's interesting. Uh, we'll learn a little bit more about his backstory, but he's hushed, not, like, mute or something. Like, he wasn't always... I'm just trying one time to... I'll settle for that. <laughs> Just can't get his timings. Oh, I'm out. Uh oh. Okay. Serious time now. He has the Lowellin shield, which is the shield that uh, that blacksmith from Drang Lake. Metal shield crafted by the great smith, fashioned from rare guy steel, it excels at various types of damage, absorption, and it can parry. Alright, well, I'm gonna go rest at a bonfire, so I have at least some health. And then uh, we're gonna take out the rest of Smoldering Lake. And then we're gonna run up and tell Henri that she, uh, that we found Horus, if she's still there.
and then we're going to defeat the, defeat the boss of this area. This area is so much easier when there isn't someone shooting at you the whole time. Alright. So there are a bunch of crabs over here. So we'll have to take those guys out one at a time. There's a lot of large titanite shards around here too. Which is great because I need to level up my stuff. I'm doing great with the uh, with the broadsword right now, but I do want to get something else. Oh, I can catch it. You, okay, well you get Titanite Shards, but maybe you get something for defeating every one of them. And we're going to see, because we're going to defeat all of them. Okay, there's three more. Ugh. Just a second too late. Oh, nice. <laughs> Gives you a large Titanite Shard as well. Alright. Easy peasy. I also thought there was items over here, but, and that's why we would have to kill them, but. Hmm. Oh, there's two more. Great. Three more. Wow. So yeah, this is another way to get into, I don't know if you can like do it yourself, but you 
you can get that shot. What? Oh. Okay, well that guy doesn't look like he's coming, so... Okay, great. Well, this might be enough uh, content for the next episode, this whole next episode, just because this is going to be so long defeating these guys. Does this one have a different AI or something? might have been doing different moves. I'm really hoping that this gives us something cool. But it probably doesn't. There is some items over here. An item. As I say, I can't remember which one. Is the one. Is the enemy where you struggle to get out? I think it might be Sullivan's beasts, but I do it regardless. I guess it gives us access to this item easily. Chaos gem. Well, we already got one of those, right? So this would be our second one. Okay. That's cool. Alright. I mean, there's not really much to say. The boss of this area is uh, like a chaos demon. I think he's called like Old Demon King or something. Um, oh, there's something up on a ledge here. I think it might be over here. Shield of Want. And we know Want is being associated with. I mean, it was kind of associated with Nashandra in the first game, but uh, I guess with Vendrick as well. Shield of an ancient king who was cursed by an all consuming thirst. In the end, he was no king. The residue of the king's lust still smolders within the shield, increasing the number of souls absorbed when enemies are defeated.
sure. Oh, no, it's, uh, I should have read that. Or seen that. God, Perry. I feel like there's these paths here and then, like, one doesn't have something or something. So it's like you go up and then there's nothing. I'm gonna check just this area over here too, because I think one of these places has something, but maybe I'm mistaken. Like that one right up there. There might be an item there. Nope, just two areas. Alright, so now that we're done with this completely, let us go talk to Henri, if she's still around. And then we can fight the boss. And then we have to go back and read a bunch of stuff. And I might even go and get that refined gem that I've been... That I've been leaving around for, for forever. Um, so, Catacombs of Carthus. Old King's Ant... It is called the Old King's Antechamber, too. Let's see if we can get up there from here. I guess we can run across the bridge, but that will spawn all the... Oh, the old king's antechamber. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. I'm just trying to get to, uh, I guess I'll go from here. I guess there's no uh, bonfire after the Wolnir fight. There's one in the next area right after that, but I figured that was the... Can he make it? All right. Here we come, Henri. Did I get souls for both those? Okay. Don't hit the trigger. Okay, so she is gone. Um, now we gotta fight the boss. <laughs> I'm like already forgetting the order of things here. Demon Ruins, it's called. Right. Okay, who is this? Sorry, yes. Please. Um, that'll be fun. And then there's someone else that I'm supposed to summon, so I might have to send Sorry back. We'll see. Yes, this person, and I need to keep them alive. Artorias, weird. Artorias, but he's just, yeah, he's an abyss watcher. All right, that person has to stay alive. So we have flame resist, speckled stone right, plate. Um, uh, I guess I can do this, and we can do lightning. 
Okay. I don't want this fight to go well. I like this fight a lot, actually. Oops. <laughs> Can't drag by that. Oh my god. Don't. Okay, he's, he healed. Okay, good. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, Zorg is dead. I don't care about him as much. Yes. Nice. Thanks for staying alive, buddy. Awesome. All right. Demon, old demon king, still a blood wolf. Uh, the shriveled old demon king is now like a clump of burnt ash, but he is the last living witness of the chaos of Isolith. There you go. All right. What to do, what to do. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is so. Yes. Okay. Old Demon King. Chaos bed vestiges. Traces of the tumultuous seedbed that birthed the beings known as demons. Hurls chaos flame that scorches vicinity. Demons born from the fire bore its smoldering essence and perish soon after. Man shares this rapport with the flames to this day. Great Hammer of the Old Demon King. This weapon has survived since Old Isolith and is imbued with the remnants of the Chaos Flame. Molten Perseverance. Anchor weapon in earth to temporarily boost poise and use strong attack to repeatedly stab earth to trigger molten explosions. All right. Um, so, oh, I have tomes to give. I got, I got tons of stuff. Did I see talk up here? Exact. Just can I talk to him here? Okay. Excuse me. Uh, do, I don't have a tome for her, do I? Oh, champion, do you wish? No. I bought all those. Have a pleasant journey. Okay. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am cheap. <laughs> Oops. Uh, give Parmenti tone. 
Okay, so he doesn't like the Grave Organ one. He won't like this one. Ah, what have we here? By the gods, this inscription reads, Quelana, the ancient deity, one of the witches of Isolith. The last of them who wandered the lands. Then she must have returned to Isolith after all. Uh -huh. But I regret to say, I cannot accept this. Quelana's pyromancies are for witches and must be learned from a mistress. But thank you for allowing me to peer upon such a thing. If only I were a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you like this one now. Ah, what have we here? A pyromancy tome from Isolith. Then you found the home of pyromancy. I did. Brilliant. I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. What are they? Great Chaos Fire Orb. Art of the Flame of Chaos from Ancient Isolith hurls a Great Chaos Fire Orb. Chaotic flame melts even great boulders and creates a brief surge of molten lava on impact. The Witch of Isolith and her daughters birth the Flame of Chaos, and it devoured them along with their home. Art of the Flame of Chaos from Ancient Isolith. A chaotic flame melts... Okay. The all-engulfing chaos flame eventually formed a tumultuous seedbed which birthed the twisted things known as demons. <laughs> okay. So that's all. Heed my words, unkindled one. Fear the fire. The home of pyromancy. Isolith was scorched by the very fire it created. Undoubtedly, it was a flame of chaos tangled by a witch's hand. But who's to say that this bonfire's flame is any different? Yeah. Heed my the undoubted who. Um. Do not be gone. What is it? <laughs> ah, the I. <laughs> Whoops. Huh. So I thought if you... If that person survived, that he would give you his stuff. But maybe it's just for sale somewhere. And we got everything here. Nothing's new. Promise to stay safe. Yep. Alright, let's try to upgrade some weapons here. That is what me. Okay, I need one more Titanite chunk. Uh, I'm good with this. Because I'm going to want to upgrade. Weapons and brickwork. Okay. Just checking. I'll be checking throughout the rest of the game. He shouldn't say anything now. Because, yeah, like, I need to find Isolith, I think. Or Isolith. I need to find, um,. Here, Ethel. Speak thy honorable. Our lord and liege. Knowest thou of a maid named Amri? She is hollow. And will join thee in a fellow of mine guides her at this moment. Well, not anymore. When the time is ripe. Thou mayst make thy Unless you mean for what lord taketh note. Maybe maybe she doesn't mean. Horus. Maybe she just means. Maybe she just means like someone's following her. That's certainly possible. Okay, so patches won't have anything new. Let us start leveling up. Welcome, husband. Very well then taken. We're just going with uh, with uh, faith. Two thousand? Oh my goodness. Okay. Very well then. Because we're gonna need to get into faith soon here. Um. Okay. And so the only thing left here is shine. Ah, how may? 
So she has a bunch of new stuff now um, from us killing or defeating things or whatever. I think all of the weapons are the same, but do we read the undead stuff? Um, yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Doesn't say much. Partake in wolf blood. Black Iron Helm. Helm made of black iron from the set of armor for which Night Slayer at Zorig was infamously known. Offers extensive and particularly effective protection from fire, which is probably what we should get if we want to go run through that lava. Um, steel Helm, of course, the Hushed, who took a liking to its cold, bulky insides. The original owner was said to be a corrupt executioner who was killed and stripped of his armor. Horus is one of only two children to escape Aldrich's clutches. So, Henri and Horus are going to search for Aldrich. It seems to me that Horus might be hushed because of his experience with Aldrich. Um, Aldrich obviously is a cannibal and obviously has a thing specifically for children um, because one of only two children to escape Aldrich's clutches. I mean, that indicates to me that there's many, many children and only two have escaped. Could be that the other one is Henri. But we, you know, who knows? Maybe the other person is another hushed person, and Henri just met um, Horace somewhere and found his. I mean, I don't know how she would know what his mission was, so maybe it is Henri. But um, that's really it becomes a really interesting uh, story now. They're going to uh, find Aldrich and kind of pay back for what he did to them. Very uh, admirable story. And we read all these. Ashen one. Oh. Okay. So now I'm going to do some... We have a little bit of time here. So I'm going to just check my um, notes here. I have a couple like um, oh, the Deep Gem and Red Eye no, Lothric Knight and the Hawk Ring. I think we could do all three of those. Alright, so let's go get the Deep Gem. Um, just because the gem isn't all that important, but um, the like place where we find it is. And I realized why I didn't get it because the area where I wanted to go to get it was had that clipping plane, that glitch. So, anyway. Right here, I was not able to walk down these stairs. It was really weird. Here's the deep gem. Found in the dregs of the Cathedral of the Deep, deep weapons inflict dark damage. There is a darkness that lies beyond human ken. So this is kind of an interesting, you know, story point. Um, that deep is different than dark. Dark in humanity and, and the abyss. Deep is something beyond human ken. 
like like a menace and such and then where you get it is overlooking what looks like to be I mean I wish you could get a better view but I mean it looks like a sort of abyss here behind the Cathedral of the Deep and I mean it is the deep and we'll see how this relates to Aldrich later and, and, and the such, but I, I I wanted to come back and get that just to show that because it uh it's kinda unique. Uh I should have known Maybe this was what was giving me problems. Maybe that was weirdly clipped somewhere, because I was just saying that it seems hard for me to imagine that geometry was not rendered. But it makes sense if an enemy was supposed to be someplace. You know. Oh, I forgot to do the undead bone ashes. I'll get those at the very, very end. Oh, undead bone shard. Yeah, oh, pff. you can just see the deep here. I did not realize this is where it was. Yeah, but so it's water, but there's a deep beneath it. And it's important that it's water to me. We'll see. Alright, so now we'll go to Vort on the Boreo Valley. And this is just one of those things that I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get it now, and, and I'll come back some point. <laughs> I learned later that it is the refined gem that I've been waiting to find somewhere, so and I'm going to need to use that refined gem for my final weapon that I end up using. I did not go over here. There's no items here, but more Lothric Knights with swords stabbed into them. Yeah, so I'm going to have to kill these guys. Just because I need to get past them easily. I don't want to fight on the stairs with this guy, but... I guess maybe I do. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are more tolerable. Oh, I thought that last one was for sure a good timing. <sighs> At least they don't do much damage anymore. Except for that. Ugh. <sighs> Alright. 
And that's what it's gonna be like. Let me fight this guy. Let's see if I can sneak up and uh, get a backstab on him. I'm sure he's gonna be so totally like. Refined gem plus Lothric Knight leggings. Forge uh, the weapons of Lothric Knights. Refined weapons are difficult to wield properly and scale effectively with strength and dexterity. Armor of a celebrated, of a celebrated Lothric Knight. Oh, a celebrated Lothric Knight. Uh, the knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times and shares place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Only those possessing a knight's resolve are fit to wear this garment. So that's the first time we've heard about the three pillars. We'll hear about it more as we get deeper into... Uh, Lothric, but Lothric had three pillars of which it, I don't know, held itself up on, and one of them were the knights. A lot of rule of three going on in, in this in this game. And then the last place we have to go is the Undead Settlement, probably the Dilapidated Bridge. tanking damage because I'm a little bit over leveled for this area. So, yeah, what I'm doing here, I guess I haven't really explained, is that if you get all seven uh, white birch branches, then you can return back to your friend. Who has died because he's done his duty. He's protected you against the three white bridges that exist, and then you can get the hawk ring. Ring associated with Hawkeye Goth, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. In his later years, the giant Goth was blinded, but this did not prevent him from striking great a calamitous dragon with his great bow. <laughs> striking down a calamitous dragon with his great bow. So. Yeah, I don't think he was blind. I think his his mask was packed with resin, although he could have also gone blind. But he, nonetheless, he struck down uh, Calamite with his great bow. Um, yeah. All right. And I think that should do it. I think we've gotten everything taken care of up to this point. So now, that means the next stage is to get uh, Gonda Irithyll.
So join me next time to check out Irithil, this place we've heard so much about, and uh, and see if we can meet Aldrich, Pontiff Sullivan, all of these characters that we've been hearing, uh, and maybe meet Henri on the way. It'll it'll be fun. All right. Uh, see you next time. Bye.